how do you see our utility clients moving forward into cloud or other new technologies based on your experience? Yeah, based on my experience, I mean, I think there's a lot of different ways to, to look at this. And, and, you know, in an old role I was in where it kind of had capital and O&M, you know, forward-looking uh, budgets, you know, and you also kind of have to take a look at your current assets. So, you know, when was the last time you had a compute or a storage purchase cycle? Same with network equipment. All those things kind of have to factor in the cloud because you can push to the cloud, but then you still got a bunch of assets that you're depreciating. So there's a timing element to that. I think, you know, it's kind of standard for a lot of things, a lot of planning for the cloud and what's your roadmap going to be and kind of strategically look at all your systems. And then, you know, you also have to analyze your internal department, right, your capabilities to do that. Because the reality is it's not like you can go to cloud with all of your enterprise systems all at the same time. So there's going to be some kind of phased approach with that. So now all of a sudden you're talking about a hybrid integration environment where you got a bunch of on-premise right. systems talking to each other and a couple cloud that you're, you know, slowly migrating over time. That's a new skill set for most utilities, whether you're large or small. How do you manage a hybrid environment? Might be some opportunities for us and some others out there, but I don't think a lot of utilities are prepared for that just yet. So conferences like this, I think the thought leadership getting out there and really starting to think and how we're going to solve those problems going forward because there's a lot of ways to do it.